Hi everybody, here is a lap guide in the Spec Racer Ford Gen 3 at Sonoma. This is the long version of Sonoma with the inner loop section in the middle of the lap. Uh, I'm using the iRacing default weather and uh, I'm actually going to be using baseline setup for this video, uh, early days with this car. So I thought, you know, let's go keep it basic, stick with the baseline setup and uh, hopefully you can use this as a guide for the week ahead. Having come across the line, we're up into fifth gear. Uh, go through turns 1 and 1A which go up the hill. Uh, the first part is flat out but just before I get to the bridge I'm going to lift off slightly because I want to keep the car to the left hand side just after the bridge on the kerb. Um, just as you are halfway up the kerb on the left hand side uh, that is going to be my braking point for turn 2 which is the right hander. This is a really difficult corner uh, it's easy to get a lot of wheel spin here, so you have to be really gentle on the throttle as you come up over the crest. I take aim for just a little bit of kerb on the right hand side on the apex, um, but yeah, just be th gentle on the throttle in third gear and just ease out. There's a lot of room on the exit to push out wide and carry the speed gradually uh, out through and down the hill to the next section. Turns three and four, uh, I shift up to fourth just before uh, turn three, and I don't brake actually. I just lift off the throttle. Uh, you keep a little bit on through the left-hand corner, making sure not to really touch the curb on the inside on the left. Um, but just keeping the car as far left on the exit of three because turn four goes up over the crest. Uh, and turns right but it's really easy to run wide on the exit of four um, you'll see if you keep attention on the, the accelerator graph uh, yeah I, I have a little bit of throttle to get me through three but I'm just sitting off a throttle just waiting so that I know when to get on the throttle out of four um, yeah and then it's run down into the new section My braking marker for turn five is the end of the curb on the left, really simple. Um, the only thing to really consider here, uh, third gear corner, the curb on the inside is very steep, so I've been avoiding it. Um, and it's generally quite a nice corner. It's cambered, it drops away on the inside. Um, so you can actually just find it quite easy to just turn in and get on the power for the straight, well, the flat out curve that follows. This turn seven loop is tricky. Uh, it's on the entry. It's quite easy to get oversteer and lose the back end. And then at the bottom of the hill, there's so much understeer. Uh, this is probably baseline setup related uh, and probably quite solvable. Um, how I approach it, uh, right at the crest of the hill in line with the tire wall on the right hand side, uh, I begin braking. Most of the time I was keeping out of the inside line, like middle of the track through the corner to get a late apex at the bottom. Uh, on this particular lap, which was my best of the session, um, I actually kept a bit tighter all the way around. Um, yes, brake gently, try not to lose the rear end, and then just wait on the throttle, ease in very gently as you come down around the hill. As the track flattens out at the bottom, that's when the understeer kicks in and it pushes you right out towards the opposite side of the drag strip that forms the following straight. Um, yeah, so it takes a bit of 
practice <laughs> reluctantly uh, to get this corner right but uh, it's quite a nice corner and satisfying corner when you do get it it's a nice little challenge The first of the two hairpins on the circuit at the end of that long straight uh, is a bit of an awkward hairpin. Um, it's tight on the entry, uh, but it actually really opens out on the exit uh, where the various pieces of track converge. Uh, you see on the straight that I've kept into fourth gear, and I use roughly around the red billboard on the left as my braking reference uh, marker for the hairpin. Aim for the first curb, try and keep that fairly tight and then just ease on the throttle and try and carry a lot of speed. Like I said, there's a lot of extra tarmac and space on the exit. The only thing I would suggest is avoiding the inside, both the inside curbs and also the exit curb as well, um, as it's just gonna slow you down. This section, uh, in, like in another video of mine where I did the outer circuit, uh, is about flow uh, and getting one right into the next. Um, this particular left and right section, a bit different obviously in a Gen 3 car because it's got more power and more speed. Um, but yeah, lift off the throttle, uh, no braking I've done here, but keeping to the left on the left uh, so that you can optimize your line over the right hand crest um, whatever you do do not run wide into the dirt on the exit of the right hander uh, there is a weird bump or something in the gravel you hit it you will go into the wall on the opposite side 99 times out of 100 and that'll be the end of your race so if you think you're going to run wide ease off the power, don't stay in the throttle. The left hander up to this point was of course flat out uh, and this is the only real mistake I feel like I made on this lap. Um, I miss the apex quite badly. Uh, my turning point was just at the end of the curb on the left hand side and I want to aim to just touch the curb on the right, just easing off the throttle. Um, you shouldn't need to brake but if you do feel like you've missed the apex you might want to get on the brakes to avoid uh, running too wide into the dirt on the exit. Carry the speed through, uh, I just stuck in fifth gear every single time this time. Uh, with the old car it was debatable. Um, but yeah, fifth gear through here and then run down to the final hairpin. When I did this lap guide in the Gen 2 car for the outer circuit, um, breaking for the final corner, I was breaking far earlier than I thought I would have needed to. I was using the cone on the right hand side before pit entry. Um, Surprisingly, with the Gen 3 and the new car, the faster car, um, my braking point is where I would have expected it to be. Uh, I'm using the cones at the start of the pit entry wall uh, on the left hand side uh, and then brake, just shift it down into second gear, bring it fairly close to the tyre walls, you can get away with uh, not uh, running over the curb there um, and then just easy on the throttle out the corner careful of the wall on the exit and run to the line 